information on a crash that killed a Westmore High School student. The driver who hit that teenager has now been charged with first degree manslaughter. News 9's Hunter McKee joins us live in the newsroom with the latest on that. Hunter? That's exactly right, guys. It happened last month when 7 year old Judy Todd was pulling out of a driveway and backed into 17 year old Colby Dutton. A new police report says Todd had a slurred speech and was unsteady on her feet. This was the scene from May 19th near Southwest 107th and Western in Oklahoma City. The motorcycle driver was northbound here on Western and a, uh, another person pulled out in an SUV from a private drive. That driver was Judy Todd and according to a PC affidavit filed in Cleveland County, when Todd pulled out of the driveway, she failed to yield to oncoming traffic. Dutton was wearing a helmet but sadly died at the scene. Todd was questioned by officers and told them she took prescription medications, including hydrocodone and gabapentin. And the report, it also says Todd's speech was slow and she had pinpoint pupils. Officers believe she was under the influence of those medications. After the incident, several people in the community posted on Dutton's social media page, many talking about the type of person he was and what he meant. More public schools also sent out a statement after the crash saying, more public schools experienced the tragic death of a Westmore High School student. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family members affected by this severe loss. Todd was booked into the Cleveland County Jail and charged with first-degree manslaughter, failure to yield, and DUI. And Todd has not been assigned a court date. We'll keep you updated on this case. You can check out the latest, of course, on the News 9 app. Live in the newsroom, Hunter McKee, Oklahoma's own News 9.